Hey everyone, welcome back and today we will be doing another lead code 507 perfect number and is even a perfect number is a positive integer that is equal to the sum of its positive divisors excluding the number itself uh, a divisor of an integer x is an integer that can divide x evenly given given an integer n return true if n is a perfect number return false otherwise so 28 is a perfect number because all of its divisor if we add them up will going to return 28 itself 7 is not a perfect number because 7 has only divisor 1 and 7 and we are not going to include 7 because they have said like the number itself does not count uh, yes here excluding the number itself so 1 will be left alone and 1 does not make up 7 if we add it with nothing like 1 is not 7 simply so in the case of 28 you can see like we have 1 2 4 8 all of its divisors and if we add them up we are going to return 28 so we can just loop till the number and just add if there is a divisor but we have to make a more, more strict approach because it just exceeds the time here if you take a linear approach O of n approach so the time limit must be like time complexity must be like less than O of n so we will be doing it by taking the square root so the square root of uh, the 28 will be something like 5.2 5.3 or something like this but we are not going to put it in our loop like the floating value so we'll be add, uh, type casting it into int and then adding it by one because we do want to include that for floating point and now what we'll be doing is first of all taking the divisor itself so one is a divisor here if you start our uh, you can say uh, start from the very beginning and then we are going to take the quotient so the quotient here is 28 and these two are the divisible uh, you can say divisors of 28 now we can move on to 2 and now 2 will have 14 because obviously they both are divisor, divisor of 28 as you can see here now 3 is not so like uh, 3 is not so we are just skipping 3 and 4 is still there and 4 has 7 and then we have reached 5 and 5 is not going to divide 28 evenly so these are our values now we can see that these are our required values but 28 we do not want 28 in our uh, you can say resultant so we can just pop it off like subtract minus 28 or minus the number itself so that's it and now we should have a duplicate protection like if there's a 25 then obviously we are going to have a 1 and 25 and now uh, 5 and 5 so we do not want to add the number that is duplicate so we will be just having an if condition for that and that's it so let's get started so we have a resultant that is equal to 0 so for i in range of uh, 1 starting from 1 and taking the square so the square will be num and 0 0.5 adding it by 1 because we do want to include that floating point and now if the number is divisible by i we can just add it to our result and if now we will check the duplicate if it is the square of the number then we are not going to add it to like twice so the result will be like num taking the quotient and now after all of this we can just return the result subtracting it by nums because obviously we do not want the, uh, the number itself in our result and that's it just that's it like if this is it and this works 